time to make dinner and I'm making a potato salad so that I can store for the days to come. And I'm gonna show you how I make that. It's really simple to do. So I just boil some potatoes in water and now that it's been cooled off, I'm just gonna peel So I can store it and eat it whenever I want. So here is the finished potato salad. Good morning! It is a new day today. A new shirt and a new day. <laughs> So last night, I stayed up late watching YouTube videos on how to DIY and naturally whiten your teeth at home. Cannot wait until tonight to try this. I want to try it right now. Watching the video again to see what I will need. And this video has the most views. I'm going to try this. Okay, let's do this. Let's try it out. It's the, it's the national memorial of today for the victims of the Holocaust. You'll see people getting outside of the cars and standing. because I cannot stand it. It's getting so dry and I have nowhere to go to cut it. So I grabbed a scissor, I'm gonna cut it myself. Let me just stop before I cut too much. Not control myself. Ladies and gentlemen, I've decided to go ahead and cut my bangs shorter. They are just, right now, they are just below my jaw, and I want it to cut like maybe till here. I've cut my own hair when I was a child, so that has been a while. This one just a little bit. I learned it somewhere, I can't remember where, that how you test when the egg is ready after you boil it is you take one out, it's like spins in a circle like this, then it means that it's ready. I'm not sure about this method, but I've been using this method like for a long time, so. <laughs> Hair salon, yeah? You use like, I think, uh, nails and. Yeah, like mm. Already in the middle of eating. So, a quick uh, celery stir fry, and this is. I tried to make the Japanese style salmon. So, I have here a very exciting package. I've been waiting for this almost two months and it finally arrived after a hectic situation. The post office here told us the package has been lost, but luckily today we went to the place we normally go to shop for food and I happened to spot this box on its shelf. They store some packages there for customers. So when I spotted this, I was like, relieved because they told me that it has been lost so i have start contacting the seller very stressful situation but so happy that i finally received it in my hands i've been looking forward to this so i got teeth whitening kit 
I saw this on Instagram. If I decide to try it later tonight, so I'll show you guys later. I finished brushing my teeth. I'm gonna apply the whitening device. <laughs> so excited! So what does it mean? How yellow my teeth are and I'm a five here apply the gel here and within 10 minutes 10 minutes mm -hmm. 30 seconds you lied <laughs> mm -hmm. it is currently 1 45 p.m. and it's Friday today I'm whispering now cuz Baraki is taking a nap on the couch there so I don't want to wake him up. I just made myself an iced latte and I'm gonna edit a video. This morning we woke up super early. I haven't like I haven't got up that early since the lockdown has happened. I wanted to go to IKEA. Now IKEA here probably one of the first places that opened last week since the government um, lift some restrictions since last Sunday. The plan for later today is we are going to his parents' house to have a Shabbat dinner. We haven't seen them for over a month now because of the lockdown and the social distancing. I got this very cute plant. It looks very fake, right? But it's real. Finally went to IKEA to buy some frames and put up these two prints. So I got them from um, the website called Wish. I'll have these two linked below. I think they're super cute. Yellow. Yellow. Kelle. <laughs> It is currently 1.52. I just finished lunch. I had the spicy lamian again. Uh, I look like a mess. This morning I felt like going back uh, to studying Hebrew and I really have to be consistent, set aside some time uh, every day to, to learn it. If I don't do that, it's not gonna help. And the thing with learning a new language is you have to be very motivated and you have to be very consistent. I've set on my calendar every day in the morning from 10 to 11 is one hour of learning Hebrew. It's a great way to keep track of your time and keep things organized. I went out to print some photos of us and now I'm gonna Cut and separate them individually and I'll be putting in the frame that we got from IKEA. All the photos is in its slot. Got this film frame from IKEA. Looks pretty cool. When I woke up this morning, Baraki was so sweet. He prepared a little surprise for me. He went out and got my favorite donuts. And along with some spicy ramen, he even got me the double spicy ramen, which I made a mukbang video of. So he got me the two times spicy. And he also got me like the hot and spicy chicken uh, dobugi the Korean rice cake. These are my favorite donuts in Tel Aviv. It's called Showroom. They make the best donuts ever. He got 
got me a strawberry. I think this is a strawberry sprinkle donut. Ooh. Wow, looks great. Today is April 28th. Baraki explained to me that in Israel, every holiday has an eve and the actual day. Tonight is the evening of the Independence Day and tomorrow, the 29th, will be the actual Independence Day. So while I was mixing the batter, I realized that my batter didn't really look exactly like the one in the video. Mine has a lot of, um, I don't even know how to describe it, like little lumps. I realized why. I think the reason might be that I used um, the eggs from the fridge. So I think that's the only reason because I followed everything else. So FYI, if you're baking, I think it's better to use everything at room temperature just to avoid this. I don't know. I'm going to make a lot of batches because I only have one muffin tray. I can only make six and I've got a lot of batter left. So I think um, I'm going to be doing that until the batter is finished. So this is from the first batch. As you can see, it has a lot of holes. I think that's because of the batter I mixed before. So yeah, it's all right because we're gonna decorate them and no one will see and it shall be a secret. This is the first plate. I just put the lemon zest on top and it looks so good. It looks so good. I wish I had more things to decorate and I wish I had like a cake holder so I can place it. It will look more pretty. The second one is with coconut. And there's a third one. I, I made way too much. Last batch, I added Nutella. I made Nutella and I sprinkled some cinnamon on top. Bomb. Good morning. Every morning I start with a cup of lemon water. So it's about 1 p.m. right now and I'm going to make myself lunch. I'm gonna have a bit of the batai and I'm going to have this. So this is the exact same flavor of the spicy ramen, but it's dobogi. It's rice cake. I've been missing rice cakes. I'm a huge fan of rice cakes. I love rice cakes. So I cannot wait to try this. He made this pad thai with chicken. It's a huge success. It tastes so good. All right, guys, let's try this. Let's try the dobogi. Mm. Surprisingly very chewy. Mm. I, I saved you. No, no, no. Try it. Patai. Patai. Looks great. eat my lunch and watch a Korean drama it's called the married world I feel like I'm becoming Korean eating Korean food and watching Korean drama 
<laughs> but yeah, that show, it's amazing. It got me so hooked. All right, see you guys later.